continue to stick together, um, fight for one another. You know, like the injuries can be emotionally, you know, uh, staggering at times. Um, but they found a way to keep it together. Um, I thought Kevin was great for us and helping stabilize us. Um, but again, together they figured it out. Someone else that was kind of a, maybe an unexpected star of this one, Dylan Windler. I mean, he had nine rebounds in his 16 minutes there at the end. You know, to be a, come be playing in the G League and to give you those types of minutes in this type of game, um, what can you tell us about? Uh, I mean, he's like you know another guy who's trying to figure out how to help this team win. Um, and you know, he does a great job of flying around. You know, coming up with those defensive rebounds. He cuts well. He moves without the ball. He runs the floor. You know, he does a lot of things that won't end up on a stat sheet. Um, but you know, he wants to help us win, and he sees a need, and he's going out and helping. And Lamar, I mean, he comes down hard on that wrist. You can see him holding it throughout the game, but he has whatever it is, will or stamina to fight through it and play. I mean. We talk so much about his just physicality. Yeah, he, he, I mean, he is, you know, the definition and personification of toughness. Um, you know, whatever he can do, no matter the circumstances, no matter how difficult, no matter the fight, like, Lamar's always first in line for it. Um, you know, we appreciate and know how much we value him. Yes. Kelsey was the athletic. Jamie, you guys had a 20 point lead at one point, um, but as the injuries happened, did you see that's where the emotion of those injuries kind of affected as that lead um, dissipated? Yeah, and we stopped doing the right things. Um, you know, obviously, and again, you know, you, the injuries take a toll on you mentally. Um, it can be a distraction. Uh, and through that distraction, you know, we complicated the game to a point where we didn't have to. Uh, I thought if we were just continuing to do the simple things over with, over and over again, um, you know, we were getting positive results, um, but we figured out a way. And for Larry to come back in, too, after um, his injury and, and give you those threes there at the end and the dunk and everything, um, what did you see from him just kind of working through that and finding his spots at the end of the game? I mean, there's a fortitude about him, um, you know, understanding how important this is. And, you know, he's been a guy that you look over the past, you know, six, seven games, like he's brought it. Um, you know, he's been dealing with a bunch of stuff, um, but never made an excuse about it. He just figures out a way that, you know, to get out there and play and help us, um, you know, <laughs> gets his treatment on the off days and then shows up again to do the same thing. Thank you. Marlon. Marlon, right now, Akron Beacon Journal. Um, we never really heard what happened to Lowry. Was it his leg? It was knee to knee. He got knee bumped knees, yeah. Oh, okay. And the, I'm sure you don't know anything about Evan. Not yet. Okay. I mean, we talked about the small ball thing before the game, but I mean, is it time? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's all we got left. <laughs> it's all we got left. Um, you know, we'll play the guys who are here. Obviously, you know, there's some things that we'll work on tomorrow just to make sure, you know, we have a good understanding of what we need to do. Um, but, you know, we'll roll the guys we got. And who is the junkyard, junkyard dog? Uh, Dylan was tonight. Joe G. Hi, Joe G. Kazakam, uh, with your big guys getting banged up. How important is Moses Brown then just in, in short time? Yeah, I thought he gave us great minutes tonight. Yeah. Um, you know, I thought he did a great job protecting the paint, you know, rebounding the ball, running the floor, you know, communicating on the defensive end of the floor. Uh, you know, he, we need a boost in that area, and he does a great job of communicating uh, and putting guys in the right spots. And Isaac didn't put up huge numbers, but, I mean, everything he did tonight was pretty efficient. So. Yeah, I mean, that, that's, that's Isaac. Um, you know, again, he's a guy who, you know, it isn't sexy all the time, and people don't want to talk about it. Um, but you don't win games in this league without guys like Isaac, you know, guys that are willing to do things that most people aren't willing to do um, without, you know, the acknowledgement or the rewards, you know, or the publicity. But he knows that's how he helps us. Um, and, you know, his teammates respect and value him. As a coaching staff, you know, we respect and value him. Um, and it goes, you know, can't go unsaid how important he is to us. Darrell. Daryl Ryder, 92 league fan. Uh, with around under three minutes to go, Darius had that 10 footer on the baseline, and then he comes back and he hits that three to, to put you up eight. Just could you touch on that that stretch and how that really seemed to help swing that momentum for a final time back in your direction for you guys to hang out? Yeah, I mean, Darius is a closer, and you know he has the ability to make you know all the shots, whether it's at the rim, the mid range, the floaters. 
uh, you know, off the bounds, catch and shoots, you know, and you look at teams that win, uh, and most of these games come down to the fourth quarter, they have a closer. Uh, and Darius is at that level, and it's an elite level. And I, I know you touched a little bit on, on Kev, but uh, again, from distance, those those big shots from him, just what kind of lift does, is he giving you guys when he's able to hit those those big shots from uh, it, It's an emotional boost for our guys. Um, like You can see the way our guys feel about Kevin. Uh, and how much they support him and how much they just want to see him be successful. Um, you know, going all the way back to the beginning of the year, like they understood the sacrifice he made by moving to the bench and accepting that role to help the team. Uh, so they couldn't be happier for him uh, when he gets it rolling and then, you know, the crowd gets behind him uh, and gives us an even bigger boost. Bobby, you got a thing in that? <clears throat> Um, hi, this is Julia Swain from Wadsworth High School's The Bruin. Um, what are the biggest differences that you can see between the team that played tonight and the team that you started out with at the beginning of the season? Um, I mean, you know, I think it's a lot of personnel. Um, you know, the injuries have kind of piled up and taken a toll on, you know, our depth. Um, but what we focus on is how connected the guys have continued to be and how much they want each other to be successful, how much they bought into one another and bought into the team and play for something bigger than themselves. Uh, and that's continued from the beginning of the year till now. <clears throat> With just a few games left in the season, what are the goals for the team moving forward towards the playoff run? Uh, we got to, you know, just play our best basketball. And, you know, we're still working to find it. Um, but understanding, you know, who we are and how we help one another, how we can be efficient on the offensive end, the defensive end, um, you know, we just got to continue to grind it out.